On this video, I'm going to talk to you guys about how you guys should rough over your artwork over and over again. Now I noticed when I was reviewing artwork at penciljack.com, I noticed that uh, a lot of people do what I do too, which we're probably all guilty of this, is like you do your rough draft and then you like rush over to the ink stage like way too quickly. Or like you should have like roughed it out and like made it all perfect, but it what's cool is like working digitally you can just re go over it and like okay let me make sure that you know you can tweak it and stuff and you know see if it looks good and if it doesn't look good or right, well let's just draw over it again you know so and some of these some of these things I'm not satisfied at the time where it's like that second or third redraw is probably better than the fourth or fifth so it's kind of cool to keep track of it you might want to save it as you go along but. You can make sure that the elbows line up and the knees line up. You can, you know, make sure that the basic shapes are flowing. If you haven't already watched Ethan Becker's videos, he has like amazing content on there. He talks about using reference and how you can use like these triangle sort of shapes to shape things out. And also how you can like black over your character to make sure that it can pass the silhouette test, which the silhouette test is like, if you can't tell like what the figure's doing, if you like black them out, like then it like fails this animation test or something. Anyway, it's just a little stuff to like keep in mind. There's no like real total 100% rules you have to follow, you know, like you're supposed to just have fun, yeah. Just because it's called artwork doesn't mean it has to be work. Did you come up with that joke by yourself, dad? Sadly, yes. For this guy, I drew the buildings underneath. I drew the buildings first, and then I drew the isometric uh, non-vanishing point guidelines, and then I drew the buildings to fit those guidelines. You know, don't be afraid to redraw. Just get the stuff out there, and then like, then draw the guides, and then redraw this stuff to the guides. You know, like there's no right way to do anything. It's pretty cool. Well, this is just another video. Letting you know a little thing I figured out along the way, you know. Let, letting you know that I'm still making artwork. Like, you guys should still make artwork, you know. Because that's the beauty of comics and drawing and everything is that, like, you know, nobody's stopping you guys. If you don't think there's a comic book out there that represents you or the stories you want to read, you can make that comic. Pick your genre, develop your characters, a lot of characters that you love were inspired by other older characters that you haven't heard of you know so like make your scenes like if you can't make a 22 page comic make a four page comic make a one page comic you know just pick your scene and make it happen you know you guys are creating this reality it's awesome